Hello, Shiners. Happy Monday to you guys. As usual, I popped on here. I actually popped on here a couple minutes early. Yay me. Um, I'm going to set up my stuff while we wait for people to pop on, and then we'll get started right at 8.30. Um, this should definitely be within 30 minutes. I feel like I don't have too much. Just a few examples to go over. Um, what? Do you have rings that you don't wear anymore? Um, I don't think I have anything decent. They don't need to be, that's, all, that's good. Okay. Can I go look? No. Because I don't want you to take rings that I might not want you to take. Well, I'm going to show you first. Okay. I'll just do it later. grab my computer so I have the light. All right, for those of you watching the replay, please put hashtag replay down in the comments so I know that you watched. Say hi if you're popping on live. I'm gonna get the light set up and then have my computer here so I know the time as well. Ooh. Hi friends. A couple of you have popped on. Happy Monday to you. This is good. Hi, Tiffany. All right. I got I got props this time. I'm excited. I took notes, got some props. So we're going to talk about selling versus sharing. My light's really weird for some reason. Oh, let me take my shoes off so I can be comfortable. Okay, so welcome to... Monday night chat where I pop on here live every Monday at 8 30 Eastern and we chat about something something sometimes it's something real good sometimes I made it up five minutes before I popped on live that's just how we roll around here all right that's good I'm gonna make sure you can see my props okay so tonight we're going to talk about um, sharing versus selling and um, if you watch any kind of training videos on uh, social media and just like how to get your information out there like you're always gonna talk and hear people talk about shelling sharing versus selling, right? And yes, we're salespeople, right? And like, I know Jennifer Anderson says that a lot, right? That, she, that we're salespeople, we sell things, we sell things that smell good, right? We sell fun things. Um, but really, if we just share more, it's a lot easier. And it, it makes you not feel so icky I feel like you know because like a lot of times you you might feel like that icky car salesman you know what I mean um and so I just want to give some like examples and some tips and stuff like that that I try to think about um when sharing on social media and, and involving Sensi. okay so first of all I think that when you when you sign up to be a Sensi consultant, like you automatically get into that mindset of, well, I sell Sensi now, so I need to sell Sensi now, right? And it's like just Sensi, Sensi, Sensi all the time. When I try to tell, you know, new people that come on that when you're sharing on social media, your life you're just adding Sensi to your life. Your life is not becoming Sensi, right? So before Sensi, who are you? Like, who were you, right? Well, you're a mom, you have dogs, you like to run, you, you know, cook every night, you like to knit, um, you're, you know, you do sports, like whatever the case may be you were this person before Sensi came along. And just because Sensi came along doesn't mean that you're no longer this person and it's 
sensey, 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 right? And so that's where um, I feel like we get in kind of like a little mind trap. And I do it a lot too, where sometimes I just get like really excited about like all the sensey things. And I'm just like, sensey, 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 sensey all the time. You know what I mean? Um, and I get like a brain block from sharing versus selling. So I made some notes and wrote some tips down and some things that I thought of with different products. And I've got some examples here for you that I want to share. Um, and just kind of maybe help you think about something before you go to share it on social media to see, you know, to kind of ask yourself, am I sharing this or am I trying to sell it? Right. And I'll say this too. Sometimes we have to, it has to be a salesy post. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if like an LTO's dropping or something like that, you know what I mean? Hi, Amber. Um, like an LTO is dropping or something. You can share a little bit, but a lot of times it's, hey, let me know if you want this. Here's my link. You know, sometimes we have to do that. And that's obviously perfectly fine, but I personally don't feel like every single post that you make or thing that you share in your stories or whatever should be like flyer here's my link flyer here's my link flyer here's my link you know what i mean like share who you are as a person share how sensi fits into your life right so you you know you obviously love the product you signed up why do you love the product so um i've said this before and i say it a bajillion times People will buy and host and join from people that they know, like, and trust, right? So especially as your customer base starts growing and you're, you're meeting new contacts and you have parties and maybe those people didn't buy from the party, but you added them as a friend on Facebook or whatever the case may be, um, a lot of times people want to get to know you first and get to like know your personality and see who you are as a person and see if maybe you're trustworthy before they actually buy from you. Okay. So if you never show them who you are, then how can they know, like, and trust you, right? If you, if your profile picture is of your dog and everything you share is, you know, just Scentsy flyers or a funny meme or, you know, a video from another page or something like that. They don't know who you are, right? So here's some examples that I have for sharing versus selling. So the first example I have, and I'm going to do like one of each kind of like a what do you think is better kind of thing um I, got, I wrote my notes hang on okay so we're gonna pretend this is a flyer of the warmer of the month that's coming out right and it says on the flyer warmer of the month succulent scent of the month palm trees and ocean breeze may a price forty nine fifty. So I post this flyer and I say nothing, no description. I just post that, right? So that's option A. Option B is you find a real life picture. If you didn't get the warmer of the month, right? Maybe you didn't get it. Maybe you didn't subscribe. Maybe you didn't have the funds for it, right? Fine. Tons of real life pictures everywhere. If you ever need a real life picture of something and you can't find it, like you can't find a good real life picture, definitely Pinterest and Google are my go-to. Um, but then the director's group does share like a crap ton of real life pictures. So you can always ask me and I can look in there and see if there's any um, good ones that I can find for you. So that was option A, the flyer. I didn't say anything, no description. I just posted that and moved on about my day. Option B is posting a real life picture of the warmer and saying something like, finally, 
a plant I cannot kill. I cannot wait to get this warmer in. It is so adorable. I know exactly where I'm going to put it. Or um, I want to be a plant mom so bad, but it's just not in the cards for me. I cannot wait to get this warmer in and throw some greenery on my nightstand or something like that, right? So talking about it, showing a real life picture, talking about, I didn't say buy this. I didn't say, um, you know, my links below. I didn't say comment for details, right? I just shared this warmer and what I thought about it, like my personal feelings on it, right? I, I did this with the warmer on my personal page. You can go and look at it and I set it up it's not even where I, I, I literally took a picture of Quaid from one section of the house and a little fake grass pot thing from another section of the house and put the warmer in front of it on a on top of Roxy's cage. Got some good lighting, angled it to where you couldn't really see the cage and took a picture. Like, like that's where I was actually putting it. That's not where I'm putting it. Like that, but I wanted to make the picture look cute and then I posted about it and I can't even remember what I said, but I didn't say anything about like, oh, buy this or anything like that, right? But I had a crap ton of comments and I think I got three or four orders just off of that post and I didn't even say to buy anything, right? So you can see the difference between option A of just posting the flyer and then option B of posting a real life picture that you find and saying what you actually feel about it. Like use your own personality. <laughs> Sadie Marie, that's not necessary. Okay, so example two. Um, if we're, another warmer example, right? So I can say post this warmer, right? So let's say I have this warmer and I post a picture of it and I say, oh my gosh, I love this warmer. And then I put my link in the comments. Like as someone scrolling Facebook, how does that post make you feel? Like it's not very exciting. Like, yeah, maybe it's cute, right? But it really doesn't, doesn't grab your attention. It doesn't say anything about you. And then you're putting your link in the comments, which is fine sometimes for sure. but to talk about it, right? So like option B would be um, you posting a picture of the swarmer or maybe you have the swarmer and you and the kids are, you know, if you have kids, take a picture selfie with the warmer and it's, um, we have so much fun coming up with different sayings for this warmer. Um, what do you guys think we should put on it next? Right, ask a question and then people, it's just more like it's more engaging it's more interactive and it's more like just talking about you and your feelings and what you're doing with the warmer and all of that kind of stuff okay does that make sense all right example three so let's talk about wax bars so i could post um a picture of Bonfire Beach and again say, oh my gosh, this wax bar smells so good. I'm completely obsessed. Give me all the things in Bonfire Beach. That's a pretty good post though. Okay. Like that's not bad. That's not bad. That's sharing. That's sharing for sure. But what if I instead posted make a splash and bonfire beach, a picture of those two and say, I'm feeling so beachy today. Which one do you think I should pop in the warmer? And maybe you can even put a description and say bonfire beach smells like this. And you could do the s description from Scentsy, or you could say bonfire beach smells like, you know, and then whatever your personal thoughts are. I always think of like sitting on the beach surrounded by a fire pit and then some hot guy comes walking up and gives me a hug 
that's what I think about when I smell Bonfire Beach, right? So, um, especially in my VIP group, I like to ask a lot of questions um, for more interaction. And of course, on my main page too, like I like to ask a lot of questions and try to get that interaction from people, okay? So, um, another like selling example would be, you know, a picture of make a splash or even a picture of six bars and saying wax bars are always buy one get one free see the link the link in the comments right you want to try to have to have a conversation whenever you're posting on social you want to provide some kind of value have some kind of interaction, some kind of conversation is what you want from people, right? When I post something, I want people to comment and like it. I either want to make people laugh. Um, typically, I'm trying to do something funny. I either want to make people laugh or, you know, I'm sharing the kids that are really cute or I want to, um, you know, give them a tip about something, something, right? Um, here's another example with dish soap. So I could post a picture of the dish soap, right? And just say, man, this dish soap smells so good. We have it in a ton of different fragrances, but I really love the Sunkissed Citrus. Check my link below. Right? That, I mean... I'm trying to come up with that off the top of my head. So what I would say if I was posting the dish soap, I would take a picture of a dish soap and say, um, you know that dish soap is bomb when you're sitting in the living room and you can smell your wife washing the dishes all the way from the kitchen. Right? So it just gives them more of an experience versus this smells good. Well, duh, it smells good. It's Scentsy, Scentsy smells good, right? Like, what does it smell like? What do you think about? Like, how does it, how does it smell? Like, I was literally, true, true story, I was blown away when I first used the dish soap and I was in the living room and Robin was on the other side in the kitchen and she's washing dishes in the sink and it was like, sun. I think it was Sunkissed Citrus that we used first, was smacking me in the face clear across the room smelled so good so and i was like what is that smell coming from it was her washing dishes share that kind of stuff with people people want to know that okay um what else do i have all right here's a laundry example so you could post a picture of washer whiffs, right? A flyer of washer whiffs and say, oh my gosh, I can't live without washer whiffs. They're amazing. If you haven't tried some, you need to get some today. Link in the comments, right? Or I could take a picture of Quaid holding the washer whiffs and say, y'all, why are boys so smelly? I make sure Quaid uses washer whiffs every single time he washes his clothes because he does nothing but stink, right? So something, it shows that I'm using the product, right? It shows that I, um, like I, I back what I sell, you know what I mean? Like when you, you know, if you go and, and do the whole like used car salesman analogy and you go to try to buy a used car and the car guy is like, oh my gosh, yeah, that car is amazing. And it's just the best car ever. You know, we'll say Toyota. That Toyota is the best car ever. Like I love it. And it's got all these features and blah, 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 blah. But you know, he's, he's driving a Ford. He didn't really, he's never drove a Toyota before. He doesn't really know. You know what I mean? So it, it just puts more trust in you um, when 
you can share that you're using the products and you're just using them in your everyday life, right? Everybody washes laundry, throw a funny post up there about how your kids stink, you know, or maybe your husband stinks, right? He, com he comes home and his clothes are, you know, super smelly work clothes and thank God for washer whiffs so you can stand to be around him, you know, right? Something like that. Um, I've got one more example. So, no, I have two more examples. Um, here we go. So, Scentsy Soap. Here's an example. I can post a flyer or take a picture of this bag of Scentsy Soap and post it and say, um, relax all your cares away with Scentsy Soak. This stuff is so amazing. It smells so good. You have to get that aloe water and cucumber Scentsy Soak. You're gonna love it. And then put your link in the comments, right? Or I can sit this um, aloe water and cucumber bag on the corner of my bathtub, have the water running. Maybe I'm sitting in the bathtub and I've got my legs up and I'm taking a picture like of my legs with Scentsy Soak, right? And I caption it and say, if I hear mom one more time. Right? So you're sharing again that, you know, you're using the Scentsy Soak. They're going to see it in your picture. People are going to laugh, right? Um, or you can even say like, I could not even take hearing the word mom one more time today. Thank God I, got, I finally got this bag of Scentsy Soak in. Nobody talked to me for the next hour, right? Something like that. Um, and then the last one I have is a fragrance flower example. What was I saying for this one? Um, you could take a picture just of your fragrance flower. And again, oh my gosh, this fragrance flower smells so good. Have you tried one yet, right? Or take a selfie, right? Take a selfie smelling it and say something like, I just popped open a brand new fragrance flower. I picked aloe water and cucumber this time. That's what this one is. Um, now I get two months of smelliness at my desk or whatever, right? Take a selfie, take a picture of yourself with your products. People love that stuff. People love that stuff. All right. Um, so ask questions to get interaction. Okay. That definitely helps a lot because then even though you're not asking like for a sale, when you post that stuff, as you start talking, you can ask more questions. So if like someone comments on your post about, um, your, I'm feeling beachy today, which one should I do? And people start commenting and picking stuff, you can comment back to them, right? With, you know, beachy smells or my vibe, what's your favorite kind of scent, right? And just like have a conversation and then the conversation can evolve into a, well, you know what? I'm putting in an order next week. Do you want me to grab you a six pack of beachy smells or whatever, right? Just be natural. It's so hard and trust me, I get it 100%. I still do it and I've been doing this forever. Um, it's, it's so easy to get into that like sell, sell, sell mindset instead of just relaxing because you want the sale, you want the sale, you want the sale, you know? Like it's, I want the sale, I want the PRV. And that's super exciting, but like if you relax and not focus on the the sale itself and just focus on talking to people and sharing what you love and sharing your feelings about it and your own personality, those sales are just going to happen. It's just going to happen. And you're gonna feel a lot less stressed about it. So ask questions to get interactions. Um, 
make sure you're using the products. Like I don't really promote a lot of products that I don't actually use. So like, like I use my diffuser, but very rare. I'm definitely a wax and warmer girl. But when I do decide to turn on my, my diffuser, that's when I'm going to share it because I'm actually using it at that time. Any other time I'm not really sharing about the diffusers, which I actually need to change for sure because that deluxe diffuser is amazing. Um, but like I don't, like I don't wanna try to sell the diffuser when I don't even use it myself. You know what I mean? So if you haven't at least tried some of the products, like what's another example? Um, all purpose cleaner. There's some people that like live for all purpose cleaner. They freaking love it. I've used it a couple of times and I personally don't like it. So I don't sell it. I don't talk about it because I don't like it. If somebody asks me about it, I say, I'm not a huge fan, but I have a bunch of sis Scentsy sisters that seriously swear by it. Here's what they use it on, right? And I'll give some examples. Um, but that's, that's how I handle that kind of thing. Um, and then my last tip for you is when you're posting, post like you're talking to your best friend. And you might've heard this tip before. Like when you go to message someone or text message someone or post on social media, think about if I was walking down the street in front of my house and my best friend came up, how would I talk to her about this wax bar? What would I say to her, right? And it kind of helps a little bit and I will sometimes go to post things and then I'll remember that and then I'll change up my wording because I'm like, I sound too, you know, salesy. Like, let me change it up a little bit. You know what I mean? So um, that's something, something to think about and keep in mind. So those were my examples for you. Hopefully that was helpful in um, the sharing versus selling and kind of what that looks like. Um, I definitely recommend minimal flyers, even if I need a flyer of, we'll say dish soap, if I didn't have any, if I needed dish soap, I would go to and Google Scentsy dish soap and find a picture of, find a picture of dish soap and post that before I post a flyer about dish soap. Cause people are gonna just scroll right through flyers. So sometimes flyers are very helpful um, but I try to avoid flyers as much as possible. And then, um, ask questions, right? Oh, one more thing. This was a tip that I got from, I don't remember who, maybe Chloe Cox, and I actually haven't done it, but it's a great tip. So if you're using stories, right, which stories are super helpful. Tons of people are in stories, but you'll see a lot of like the, for the buddies, for example, that are coming out, you'll have, you'll see just flyers in stories, right? From Scentsy Consultants, a, a picture of the Scentsy Buddy or even anything else, a picture of the warmer or whatnot. Before you post those, like get on there and like talk about it for a minute. So a lot of people don't know what the heck a buddy is right? So do a quick story in your stories and say, oh my gosh, we've got some great buddies coming out, right? Um, here's what a buddy is. Scent pack goes in the back, blah, blah, blah. Smells good. Mm. And then here's some of the buddies that are coming out on Monday. And then you can post some pictures, right? Same with a warmer. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to change your wax and your warmer um, using cotton balls, right? Show them really quick and then post some pictures of warmers, right? So I definitely need to do better, a better job at that, 100%, but it's a really great tip um, to use. So definitely think about that when you're doing your stories. So, all right, I made it in 30 minutes. Yay me, that never happens. Um, but um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about anything, of course, drop them down in the comments. And otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.